add comments and suggestions to Google Docs. Think of a comment as something you'd write in the margin of a paper. And think of a suggestion as something you would do on the actual paper. A markup, a cross off, a carrot with adding a new word. So your markups are your suggestions and your comments are things you'd write in the margin. I'm going to leave myself a comment so you can highlight a word, a paragraph or more. And you'll notice these icons that appear on the right hand side. Surprise, these are brand new today. They were not here yesterday. Well, the comment was one, the comment one was, but not the suggestion one. So I'm going to click on the comment one first to show you how to add a comment. And you can put the at sign if you want to make sure that the other person receives a notification. So I could put at Alana and I could type out my whole email or you would type out my email if you wanted to make sure I received that notification. Or I could just write someone the note, but they will not receive the notification unless they open the document. And then click comment. And again, if you added that at sign, then the user would receive a notification. When I'm done adding my resources, I can always click on this checkbox and it will resolve it and make it disappear from the paper. Now, the next thing is suggestions. If I want to mark up this agenda because I'm collaborating and I want to give someone suggestions on this, I can say that I want to say suggest edits. So now it says I'm in suggesting mode. I could go back to editing mode. All you have to do is actually type on the actual document. So it will tell the other person that I said I want to add co-teachers. They have the option to click the check and insert that text into the actual document or click on the X and reject it and it will go away. So let's say that the other person comes in, they're like, okay, I added all the resources, I'm done. Click check. Now they say add co-teachers. Okay, we should teach them how to add co-teachers. Check. It will actually add that text. Then they see differentiate assignments. They're like, no, I don't like that word there, X. And the word didn't go in. So by adding comments, highlighting, and click the speech bubble, or suggestions, I'm already in suggestion mode. I just want to point that out so that other bubble isn't popping up. I could go back to edit mode. And now when I type, it just stays. So if I type, it doesn't ask the per other person if they want to accept or reject it. Editing means true collaborators and suggesting means to leave a suggestion for the other person to accept or reject. And that is a difference between a comment and a suggestion.